Getting straight to the point, DJ Hulk to the Kins Titans has been one of my favourite NBL 23 signings so far. This won't be a deep dive report like my other videos, instead I wanted to take a few minutes to cover what I find awesome about Hogg. At 6 foot 8, sometimes listed at 6 foot 9, Hogg has excellent size for an NBL forward on the perimeter. Hogg spent three years at Texas A&M before going undrafted in 2018, and since then has had three seasons in the G League in which he averaged 11 points and shot 38% from deep. Last season, he went overseas and played for Chalet, where he shot a blistering 45% from deep on 5 attempts per game, putting up just over 12 points per game and attempting 63.4% of his shots from beyond the 3 point line. He has definitely found his niche as a 3 point specialist and has leaned more and more into this over the years. A good place to start is in establishing that Hogg is a very good spot-up shooter and has a consistent, reputable history in doing so. He is armed with a quick release that extends a good few feet beyond the three-point line and doesn't appear to be phased by close contests. With Cholet, he made at least three three-pointers in almost half of his games, including a season-best six threes versus Strasbourg. He also has a sidestep side dribble shot he can go to, doesn't happen often but it looks fluid and smooth when it does. The movement shooting, especially at his height, is very interesting. He does a great job of setting his feet quickly, limiting left to right momentum and remaining balanced. Hogg looks like he could be a fun pick and pop option for Ken to utilize, and I hope they do. He doesn't make a lot of contact on his screens and often opts to do slip screens, but does a great job of subtly fading to the top of the arc and is swift into getting into his shot and getting his feet set in this sort of action. Here's some of the really fascinating nuances of Hogg's shooting and movement. On this first play, Hogg tightly wraps around Wimbanyama, immediately has his feet set and with the speed of his release is able to make this shot over Wimby's 9'7 standing reach. This next play is more unconventional since he kind of gets in the way of the ball handler, but it shows how great he is at coming off bizarre angles and so quickly balancing and aligning himself off the catch. Then in this final clip he displays some simplistic herky-jerky off-ball movement, giving himself more than enough room to put three more on the board. The point of these clips is to show that Hogg has some not so common movement tendencies that he employs to keep the defense guessing and to make himself an off-ball threat beyond just hitting the shot itself. His shooting is the main appeal of his skill set, but there are some nice complementary elements to what he brings. He's not a great ball handler, but he's a quick decision maker as a passer off the catch and makes a lot of decisive, productive reads. He only averaged just over an assist per game with Cholet, but in college he averaged up to 3.4 assists, showing a willingness to move the ball. This is a welcome addition to what he already brings as a counter to closeouts or when he gets run off the line and draws a help defender. Lastly, let's talk about his defense. He averaged just under a block per game, but I don't think that tells the full story of his impact as a secondary rim protector. Hogg is very solid rotationally and is an attentive front court defender who will most likely operate best playing at the 4 rather than out on the perimeter where you can then utilize him as a weak side defender. I think he could struggle guarding some wings first steps, but from about 18 feet in, with less open space, his footwork looks much more nimble and he is able to produce defensive stops with more ease. At the end of the day, I'm really excited to see what Kens do with some of their signings like DJ Hogg and Sam Wardenberg. And if you're interested in this sort of content, whether it be NBA Draft or NBL like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel or check me out on Twitter at QKHoops. Anyway, thank you for watching.